Let me say you, let me say you, let the Orinoco flow. Let me reach, let me beach on the shores of Triple Me. Let me say you, let me say you, let me crash upon the shore. Let me reach, let me beach far beyond the yellow sea. Turn, 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 turn. Sail away, sail away, sail away. 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 Uh, it's still further up ahead. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's further ahead. Maybe to the left. Um, no, the right. Is this it? Mm, no, the cave we're looking for slopes down. Dr. Choi, why don't you just use your logbook as a map? Sorry, adventurers. Too late for that. Tommy's bad to die, Mike. We don't have anything for you. Oh, that's not true. You hold the origami keys. Now it's time for you to choose your death. Avalanche or dragon? In other words, you can give me the origami and have no time to say goodbye to each other. Or simply kill you now and find the origami later. It's not going to happen, Sam. We will... <coughs> Pippin. I really wanted to see the dragon kill you. Oh well. It's a kite! Hurry! <coughs> Pippin. Has the fever returned again? No. But she's too excited. This just isn't a good environment for a sick girl. <coughs> Sam's one, hasn't he? I had dropped the origami to save you. He'll have it now. I'm sorry. It's not your fault you're sick. We'll think of something. Right now, taking care of you is what's most important. I'm alright. Really. <coughs> <coughs> Mike, now is not the time to be stubborn. You need your rest. Over the fire. Dr. Kilroy, can you get her sleeping bag? Sure thing, Johnny. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what cave we're in. And even if I did, by the time we got out, Sam will have the golden lotus. There has to be some way out of this cave. We're as lost as it is. Last thing we want is to get ourselves further away from Lotus than we already are. I guess Sam is already... Look! I need the map, Dr. Kilroy. Asleep. A good journalist never sleeps through a good story. There is one problem, though, Pippin. With you in condition, you really should be resting, not uh, spelunking. Roy and I were attacked because of this. Roy nearly got shot, and I was held captive for days without food. I suppose I can't argue with that. Just be careful. Are you sure this is the way, mate? For the third time, Johnny. No. Well, there is a bright side. At least there haven't been any traps. <laughs> this corridor does look familiar, though. Up there. One of the corridors has a yellow floor. Ah, now I remember. 
You came down this path with your father, Johnny. He used to say, follow the yellow floor corridor and then take the middle door. But it's a dead end. I know there's something around here that gets us the final challenge. Look, Mike, there's nothing I... Whoa! Oof. Johnny, are you alright? Nothing's broken. Ow. Why don't trap doors ever have soft landings? If they did, they'd ride trap doors like amusement rides. Uh, well, don't move. We're coming down. I'm not badly hurt. But I think I'll find the last challenge. Three holes and three riddles. They're written in Chinese. Hmm. Uh, they say my ride has a long nose. Behold my face and find the sacred trickster. That doesn't make any sense. Why, what were the origami animals again? An elephant, a face, and a cat. Why, my ride has a long nose behold and behold my face. What about the cat? Because as far as all I know, all they do is make me sneeze. That's... Pretty close to the truth, actually. Cats are known as pranksters in Japanese myth. It was what Sam said. He called them origami keys. Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. What are you doing here? Speak of the devil. Get behind me, Pippin. You can't fight in your condition. Busy Johnny have won. You and your friends are going to die. Now let me through. You might have killed my father, but you'll never get that lucky with my mate. You're cocky, Johnny. It took only one falcon punch, like, stab, to kill your father. <laughs> and I can kill this girl just as easily. Let go of me! Ow! That does it! Stop sure. Go help Pippin. Now, Sam, you have a choice. Either give us the origami and leave, or we take the origami back and you sign this place forever. <coughs> Pippin, are you alright? <coughs> no. <coughs> but we... Again. I... <coughs> <coughs> Mike, no. Don't give in. We're gonna get you to a doctor. No, not without the golden loader. Dr. Kilroy, go. But be fast. I'll keep an eye on her. My ride has a long nose. Behold my face. And find the sacred trickster. Get some medical attention. Fast. We'll get her outside and radio a hospital. The Golden Lotus isn't going into the museum, Mike? No. I'm giving it to a colleague of mine who owns a museum of Buddhist belief. It just wouldn't feel right putting it with all these religious artifacts few people believe in anymore. I suppose that makes sense. What is it? Pippin's been in the hospital for two weeks. I'm starting to really worry about her. Well, I called the hospital earlier today. She's doing much better and will be able to check out soon. That's good, I guess. Still, I should've insisted she stayed home and rent. What happened wasn't your fault. Don't put that in your head. Sam's heart has been corrupted by greed, but not yours. You're still a good person. After all, it was you that saved Pippin back in Peru. City lights shine on the harbor, night has been down. Through the darkness and the shadow, 
I will still go on Long, long journey through the darkness Long, long way to go But what are miles across the ocean To the heart that's coming home Long, long journey out of nowhere Long, long way to go But what are sighs and what is sadness To the heart that's coming home